Would you like to create your own GPD-based search engine to web or internet data? Or better to say, rag with web internet data? He's losing his memory. We already created a video about this. No, no, this time is different. Now there is no need to integrate other search engine APIs to connect them to LLM or no need to scrap any web-based data to bring them to LLM to have this solution. I'll show you. Then, let's go! Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, so let's see in general how we can, first of all, connect LM to internet live data. I know we already talked about that, so you already know the process, but there's a huge difference that I'm gonna talk about that today. So in typical scenario, this is what you will face up. If you wanna have a question get answered by LLM, supported by internet data, this is what Perplexity does, or GPT search, which is coming in, will do the same thing so you technically have your user query let's say you want to search for what are the recent research on climate um, change right so you have this user query it will go to LLM LLM will understand what type of question need to be go through a search engine for example the query for search engine will be climate change innovation or something like that then you have to pass this generated query by LLM which is based on user input to a search engine API. This is the time we have used already Google or supported by SERP API, Bing API, so on and so forth. The challenge is the result of these search engine APIs are not the whole web content. You will have these search results like highlights and snippets. For example, if you right now go to Google and just search anything, you will see the list of websites that they have a title, a highlight, and a snippet, which is two or three line of summary or the two or three first lines of what does that website include or what it talks about, which is technically not enough maybe for answering a user question. So what you need to do, you have to grab the web results, the websites that your search engine provided and scrap the content. Go through all that website that came from your Google search API and read all the content to see if the answer is there and the LLM can answer. And as you know, scrapping is not easy and sometimes not even possible or uh, it's even not allowed. And then you have to give that uh, scrap content to LLM to get the response back. But what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you actually how you can eliminate the need for secondary search engine APIs like Google search being for having the snippets, which are just summaries. And then obviously you don't need to even scrap anything or manually go and scrap all uh, the content of the websites that are coming from your search results. So instead, what I actually just came across with, I want to talk about a new service, an API called exa.ai. Obviously, this video is not sponsored by them, but I found that the solution is pretty helpful. And I'm going to tell you how it can be used. And they do have also a free trial uh, for augmenting your LLM capabilities with internet data or better to say have rack maybe with web data or have a, a search engine, AI-based search engine for your LLM-based application. So let me go through the websites and we'll show you a uh, walkthrough demo on how to do it in code. Here's a website, exile.ai, and, and as it says from the title, this is a search engine for AI, and I'm gonna tell you how it differs compared to other search engines. So if you click on use our API, they have a nice playground that shows the, the, the main capabilities of what they offer. So on their playground, you will see that the first one is search, which I'm here. You can type your search query, hottest AI startups. They have three different types of search. You can use keyword-based search, or neural. Neural is actually using embedding. This is a unique capability by itself. I haven't seen any search engine that use embeddings. And if you say auto, it will decide whether it should go with keyboard or neural based on your type of query. So we can keep it at neural. The number of results here is 10. You will see that equivalent on the right side. You will have that number also there. You can specify some filters like the category, the publish date, that uh, if you want to include or exclude some specific knowledge or domain filter phrases 
and if you also also include HTML tags you want to get the highlights of the search and obviously if you want to get a summary of your search result as well you can um, turn it on so if I just run this sample quickly you'll see that the response is back it's not only have the text and all those information but this is not just like a search engine API that has just a snippet it has actually very very huge amount of content captured from the web content not only that this is just a search you can get contents of a specific URLs if I click on get content for example I want to get information from tesla.com let me actually run it just as is it will give you the content information from that specific given URL or list of URLs this is not something that you can have with a typical let's say Google search engine API and find similars this is also interesting if you have a website in your mind and you want to find some other websites that their content is similar to the one that you give to the to the solution this will give you the list of the URLs for example I gonna go ahead with their own sample and as you can see it's providing some similar websites with similar information inside that means it can understand the content what is included inside these websites now for coding this as you can see it's pretty simple you can just do pip install xapi and it's just having your key and i will also remove my api key after recording this video you can have this result back in this format but good news they have also in they have integration with lang chain as well which i'm going to show you quickly here is a quick code that i tested for integrating exa with lang chain what you need to do just install LangChain Exa and LangChain OpenAI because OpenAI is my choice of LLM but certainly can use other LLMs as well and what you need to do you have to make sure your OpenAI key and also your Exa key has been added to your environment variables obviously for creating the Exa engine you just need to call it but this time from LangChain Exa not just Exa by itself and you have to specify what are the the top number of results you want to grab from your search engine so okay here's three as an example and optionally you can define the, the template for the XML like using this prompt that I'm gonna add it to LangChain later and if you know this is like a chain I'm creating by saying that I want to parse the document coming from to get the highlights and the URL that's it and here is we are defining a retrieval chain again this is LangChain stuff so I'm not going to do too much about it but we need to call the process in a way that first we get Excel search results using retriever then we grab attributes and parties, parse it into XML from the prompt that we have specified on the top and join it to a single string that we can pass it for next step which is our prompt here so here is our prompt we have a system message telling that hey you're a research assistant and you're going to answer people questions with the context we provide from EXA or internet search and give also the sources so we know where the answer is coming from and now we have our LLM which is OpenAI we have this output parser and we just get the query with the context all the way going to my chain and then I invoke it with a question what is the latest research on climate change innovation this obviously needs to access to internet data and beyond just the snippet of search engine APIs like Google or SERP or Bing whatever and here's the answer I formatted this answer because it's not complete here and took it a screenshot and here it is this is the answer that I got just from this example as you can see it perfectly elaborated for me the key insights from research research a recent research on climate change and interestingly here I do have sources which are websites that I can click on it and open it up so think about your applications and use cases whenever you feel like your solution need to be augmented by live data but you don't want to go with web scrapping and, and, and integrating with all different search engines making sure you have the proper results results back excel can be a good solution actually this is pretty new for me as well but i found that it's certainly worth to go through it and give you this art of possibility and awareness of what exists give it a try they also come with free trial as well you can i'm actually using free trial for recording this video and if you found it helpful for your projects and use cases you can certainly pay for it. again this is not a sponsored video by them i'm just creating this video to create some ease for you if you feel this is a good solution for your applications all right that was all about this video if you enjoyed i would be very thankful if you click on like icon and share your comments and thoughts in the comment section 
if you want to go through this code that I just provided, I have added this code in the Discord channel on the reference section. So if you want to go to the Discord channel, the link is the video description below. You click on it. You will go to the reference section and you will see the link added there. All right. I hope you enjoyed and that's all. Whenever you're afraid of something, throw yourself into it. Because fear of that avoidance is greater than the fear by itself. Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till next video, take care.